Hello, everyone. We are coming to you live from the Jada Art Fair from Miami Art Week 2021. I'm Samuel Locher, and right now I'm joined with one of the most talented people I know, Stephanie Agudelo. Stephanie, thank you so much for being here. Stephanie is a friend of Jada. She has been in many of our uh, exhibitions, both here in Miami and um, in Paris. She's done some work with our co-founder, a lot of work actually, not just some, with our co-founder Dana in um, St. Pete, where they both live. So with that being said, Stephanie, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, your background, where you're from, that sort of thing. Um, I'm from New Jersey, Wayne, New Jersey, but my family's from Columbia. I don't know much about New Jersey since we've been in Florida for the past, oh, I don't know, 20 plus years. So I've just been in Florida ever since. I lived in Miami for a period of time and then moved to St. Pete and just fell in love with the city since and been trying to build connections and create memories that I cherish. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, you're a photographer by trade, right? And you do really artistic things with the camera. You're one of the most talented photographers I've ever seen. Tell us a little bit about how you got into that and what led you to start exploring more kind of artistic spaces with your photography. Thank you. Um, so I started photography like back like at a young age because like I didn't know English very well. So I thought like taking pictures of people was like a weird way of like trying to communicate. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I started um, developing into like something more than just taking a photo of what it is. I wanted to take a photo, like make like making my own um, image rather than uh, making an image of what what is in front of my eyes. So I, throughout the years, like even uh, when I went to um, USF, I started learning the idea of conceptualizing and structuring these um, uh, these like uh, conceptualizing the idea of making a portrait off of a, you know, a digital camera. Yeah. That's really great. So one thing I know about you, but the people watching might not know, is you're really, really super hands-on with the art community in St. Pete. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about what it's like to be an artist in St. Pete, what the community's like, and some of what you've done in St. Pete with the community. Um, well, St. Pete is very welcoming uh, as, um, as it is, so it was very easily to get connected and build connections, but uh, where it started was I was a gallery assistant at Libertine Contemporary Gallery, which is actually they're in Basel right now as well. So I was, that's where it got me to the idea of like, I get to interact with other artists. This is so awesome. But um, they decided to move on into a different location, which is Miami. So I was no longer having the opportunity to be a gallery assistant anymore. But I didn't want that to be the end of getting to know artists. So I started trying to curate um, so I can reach out and give artists an opportunity to display and giving myself the opportunity to, you know, get to know more artists, get to know more like personalities or even like build friendships, connections, uh, whatever it comes down to it uh, in the long run. But uh, uh, curating for a whole year, I got to meet like hundreds of artists, different personalities, different types of painting, installations, everything you can think of. And it's a, um, an experience that I can't uh, put into words. It's, it's like a roller coaster. It has its ups and downs. 
No, it really seems like to me, from my outside perspective, that you got the whole Tampa Bay like in a headlock right now. <laughs> like, it's really great. Maybe it's not as malicious, right? Because <laughs> it's more communal. But you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm welcoming it. More of a hug, right? <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit? Uh, who are some of your biggest inspirations artistically? Um, can I answer this both ways? Because, I mean, honestly, Dana puts some amazing shows, and Jonathan. So it's like, those are my main inspirations on, like, as a curator to put on, like, you know, a whole curated, well curated show uh, and a well crowd, you know, well balanced crowd. Uh, and as an artist, um, I would say Jason. Hackenworth, if I'm pronouncing his last name. Uh, he's a installation artist that uses balloons. And I just I, and I just get lost every single time I see like these gigantic bal balloon installations. Uh, uh, and I got to meet him as a person. He's very ambitious, very um, well well um, well rounded person. Like just a great awesome artist to be around. So you're currently participating in Miami Art Week for I don't even know how many years in a row now. What do you have coming up on the horizon? And where can everyone find you online? Um, the next upcoming show I'll be curating um, uh, in St. Pete is called Cosmos. It's, a, it's an astrology art show with a fire performance. Um, um, and as far as for the next year, I, I just continue cura curating. Um, as far as my photography as an artist, I, I not too sure yet, but I'm sure everything will balance out and be uh, as great and memorable as 2021 because uh, it was a, an amazing year. As, and to find me, you can find me on social media. It's sagudelo0357 if you can figure out how to spell it. <laughs> we'll be sure to tag you and everything when we post it online. Thank you so much for joining us, Stephanie. Thank everyone for watching. Stay tuned for more. Take care. Bye.